Silhouette Go is a mobile app designed to make cutting or sketching designs with your Bluetooth-enabled Silhouette cutting machine quick and easy without the need for a desktop computer. The app allows you to use your Silhouette machine in any room or on the go with just your mobile device. It's available on both iOS and Android devices. Silhouette Go can access your Silhouette library or open your own SVG files from your phone's storage. Let me show you how it works. Keep in mind that this is currently a beta testing version, so there will be changes and upgrades. What you see on your screen in this tutorial may change as updates take effect. Open the installed Silhouette Go app. Instructions pop up, which you can advance through screen by screen or skip. Whenever you see these dots, there are screens you can advance through which provide you more information. Swipe to the left to read through them. Select your machine, and this is any Bluetooth-enabled Silhouette machine. Choose your design. Arrange your design. Select your settings. Connect to machine. Follow the on-screen prompts to load and send the job. Choose your machine. You can opt to have the app remember the same machine if you want. I'll choose the Portrait 3. You will have to connect to the actual machine later, and you can change your machine choice anytime. This just sets you up with the correct mat and media size to start with. Sign in to access the library. Silhouette Go syncs with your Silhouette library, so anything you've downloaded from the Silhouette Design Store or synced from Silhouette Studio will show up ready to use. When you're looking at the library, tap the three bars in the upper left or swipe right from the left edge to access your account and other options. Here you can sign out, change the machine choice, scan and connect to a machine via Bluetooth, reset defaults, review the introduction, and a few other things. Tap anywhere in the library to close that sidebar. The filters icon at the bottom of the screen shows your synced designs. This view lets you easily access broad categories like favorites, user designs, and purchased. Favorites includes the items you've added as favorites in your desktop Silhouette Studio software. To add favorites while in the app, tap and hold a design. Tap the library icon to see your library the way you've previously organized it in the cloud with the full Silhouette Studio software. These first designs are free designs for you that come with the app. Click on the Designs folder to access your organized cloud library. The Device icon allows you to open SVG files from your phone's storage directly into Silhouette Go. Let's go back to the main library page and open a design. Tap once to open it. Now you've come to the Arrange page. Based on your machine selection, a default mat size and media size comes up. You can change either the mat or media size by tapping on the buttons. Pinch to zoom in and out. Move your view by dragging two fingers. It goes a little smoother if you keep your fingers spread slightly apart instead of holding them close together. Tap away from your design to deselect. Tap the design once to select. Drag the design with your finger to reposition it on the page. You have the option with any selected design to duplicate, delete, resize, and rotate. Resize with these double arrows. Duplicate by tapping the lower left icon. Delete by tapping the trash can. Rotate by dragging the upper right rotation arrow. Your undo and redo arrows are here along the top. As in Silhouette Studio, this is the icon for group. This icon is for ungroup. I'll tap ungroup a couple of times to separate the pieces of this design. You'll see a faint bounding box appear around the individual objects. To select multiple objects on the page, drag your finger across the objects, starting with your finger outside of the objects. By default, the drag selection works by selecting any object it touches. You do not need to entirely surround the objects to select. This double arrow at the top will mirror your selected design horizontally. 
the Arrange button opens new functions coming soon. To turn on registration marks for a print and cut, tap the registration mark icon in the upper right corner. Make sure your design stays within the red cut border and does not touch the gray areas. We'll skip the print and cut this time by tapping again on the registration mark icon. Let's send this design to cut. Insert the blade into the tool holder. I'm using the Portrait 3, so I'm using an auto blade. Click Continue to Job Settings. The page shows your job preview. It verifies your mat size and media size. Choose your material, action, and tool. I want to cut cardstock, so for my material, I'll tap the card options and then choose cardstock plain. Click continue. I'll choose cut and continue. I'll choose auto blade and continue. You can test cut or mirror your design on this page before moving on. In the action preview page, you must choose how you want your design to cut the inner and outer cut lines. Tap on the design and at the bottom you can see buttons for cut, cut edge, or don't cut. I want all the inner parts of my letters to cut, so I'll choose cut. When you've made the choice you want for each design, tap continue. Make sure your machine is turned on and Bluetooth is on. Also make sure you've placed the correct tool into the tool holder. Scan for devices if your machine is not already listed. Tap the machine and it will tell you when it's connected. Tap continue. Swipe through to follow the step-by-step -step instructions to place the media on your cutting mat, load the mat, and tap the blue button when you're ready to start cutting or sketching. Your machine will cut or sketch the job you've sent. The app will tell you the job is complete and then you can reload and repeat the job or go back to the main Arrange page. For a print and cut job, choose a colored design. Make sure your mat size and media size are correct. Turn on your registration marks. Resize and reposition your design so it stays within the red cut border and does not touch the gray areas. That area is off limits so the optical eye can correctly read the registration marks. When ready, tap Continue to Print and Cut. Tap Print to print from the printer you've connected to your mobile device. This opens your print options. Print when ready. Take your printout from your printer and tap Continue to Job Settings. Choose the type of paper you've printed on. Choose the action to cut. Choose your tool and place it in your machine's tool holder. In the action preview, tap the designs to choose cut or cut edge. This time I only want to cut the outer edge of each design and leave the centers untouched, so I'll choose cut edge. Tap continue. If you're still connected to the machine you've been using with the app, no new choices will come up. To select a different machine at this point, you would need to go back to the beginning and choose a new machine. Swipe to make sure you follow the steps to load your printed media. When your printout is on the mat and loaded into your machine, press Send or Continue. Your machine will read the registration marks and then cut your design. Thanks for watching how the Silhouette Go app works in its current form. Please remember that this is a beta version of the app and you're welcome to test it out, but Silhouette is unable to provide support for beta versions. Updates will continue to improve your experience. We hope you enjoy the new mobility the app provides with your Silhouette cutting machine.